Hi, I'm Tel Wodoslowski with C3 Controls. In this video, we'll talk about the many factors involved in motor starter ratings. Motor starters are one of the major inventions for motor control applications, and as the name suggests, a starter is an electrical device which controls the electrical power for starting a motor. These electrical devices are also used for the purpose of stopping, reversing, and protecting electric motors. There are many factors involved in motor starter ratings such as thermal current, continuous current, motor voltage, and power. Let's talk about thermal current. The thermal current is dependent on the thermal conductivity, or K, which is the property indicating the heat conducting ability of a material. It means that the thermal current is directly proportional to the thermal conductivity. Next up is the continuous current. The continuous current, which is also commonly referred to as the continuous ampere rating, is a measure of the capability of the motor control starter to handle the current for a continuous time. The power rating of the motor starter is based on the type of motor used. DC motor starters have ratings for DC horsepower. On the other hand, AC motor starters have single phase power and three phase power ratings. The rating of a motor starter is based on the size and type of load for which it was designed. Starters conform to the standards and ratings from Underwriter Laboratories, or UL, Canadian Standards Association, or CSA, the International Electrotechnical Commission, or IEC, and finally, the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, or NEMA. C3 controls specialize in IEC. The NEMA rating. The NEMA ratings of a starter depends largely on the maximum horsepower ratings given in the National Electrical Manufacturers Association ISCS2 standard. The selection of the NEMA starters is done on the basis of the NEMA size, which varies from size 00 to size 9. The NEMA starter, at its stated rating, can be used for a wide range of applications ranging from simple on-off applications to plugging and jogging applications, which are actually more demanding. It is necessary to know the voltage and horsepower rating of the motor when selecting the proper NEMA motor starter. In the case where there is a considerable amount of plugging and jogging involved, then derating a NEMA rated device will be required. Next up is the IEC rating. The International Electrotechnical Commission has specified the operational and performance characteristics for IEC devices in their publication IEC 60947. Standard size are not specified by the IEC. The typical duty cycle of an IEC device is defined by utilization categories. As far as general motor starting applications are concerned, the AC3 and AC4 are the most common utilization categories. Unlike NEMA sizes, they are typically rated by their maximum operational current, thermal current, horsepower, and or kilowatt rating. There are other important parameters that are important to consider while selecting motor starters such as time limit acceleration, current line acceleration, control voltage, number of poles, and operating temperature. We will cover those in a future video. That's it for this video. We hope that it provided you with a good basic understanding of the standards and ratings required for motor starters. If you missed a video on the basics of a motor starter, be sure to check it out at c3controls.com or download a companion white paper at c3controls.com forward slash blog. Thanks for watching and have a good day from C3Controls.